Hey guys, it's Shiv here. I haven't done a YouTube video in a while because there's been a lot going on. Um, so before I get to what the video is about, which is about the Halloween event and kind of my thoughts on it, um, to answer a few questions, I know some of you guys have been on YouTube to me about uh, something of you probably messaged me asking what's going on. So I actually left Sarganus because there was so much stress going on. It was making me physically sick, pretty much to the point of where all hell was breaking loose. In fact, I'll explain what's going on in a minute. But there was a lot of drama um, going down in certain aspects that I couldn't personally take. And I told said people I personally couldn't take it. And it seemed like instead of trying to help, we had certain people that were making it worse. So it got to the point where I just felt like I couldn't handle it anymore. And I pretty much left the server. And then the drama still ensued because of said people. And I think finally, I think people got the memo to leave me alone. I'm hoping. Because I'm literally at the physical point of this is getting too bad and to explain Saturday night I was having pretty bad pains in my stomach which is kind of normal because I have no gallbladder and then come to find out Sunday Monday I was feeling worse I had had a fever which I normally don't have fevers I was really sick um, I wasn't really all there people noticed I wasn't feeling good I was sleeping a lot and I just knew something was wrong so I went to a doctor and it was an all-day ordeal at the ER and We'd found out that I had my bile, which, by the way, TMI for people, um, <laughs> some of you might find this good, but the bile in my stomach had turned septic due to stress, and it was actually hardening. And we had thought, at first, they were going to have to take part of my stomach out, because it was killing it. But good news is, when I went today and had it looked at, it's actually, the medicine's doing its job, it's actually looking pretty okay. But it's one of those touch and go as needed. Um, there's going to be a lot more appointments. And I just pretty much got told I couldn't get as stressed out as I used to. When we put, um, the doctor had made me put all my stressors on the paper. And he said, I need you to pick out the important stressors. The ones that you have to have and only have these and of course work is one work is always a stressor um that's for everybody though but work never stressed me out to the point of no return but there were people on that list that i had friends and loved ones tell me you need to cut these people off or we're going to cut you off because you're doing this to yourself so after listening to them i've had to block people and i've had to get people not to message me and I have to explain to other people that I want these people to message me and some have gotten hit and understand but some of them don't seem to really get it and I wish I could explain to these people but if it's getting to the point and this is what one of my personal friends have said that keeps getting dragged in and I don't know why you know, he's also said, you know, if it's to the point where you're stressing out, you, you need to stop. So that's what I'm doing. Um, but anyhow, that's not what this video is about. So if you have more questions about that, you can ask me about it. And I'll maybe do a longer video explaining the whole ordeal, maybe. I don't know. Um, right now, I'm just trying to get my life back in order. So on today's topic, it's going to be about the Halloween event in Final Fantasy XIV. Now... I'm a big fan of Halloween. It, it's one of my favorite holidays. I've always liked it. I loved the Guild Wars 2 event the first year. I haven't liked it in subsequent years, but I haven't tried the new one this year. I may do a video of me trying it on my new account. Or I might live stream it. I don't know yet. may do a video because live stream seemed like some people couldn't watch it. Um, I also kind of miss editing. I need to get my editing so far back. And I was surprised that we had an instance for the Final Fantasy Halloween event today. I was very surprised we had that because that was the number one thing I said about was 
you know, I like Fates. I'm probably one of the few people that like to do Fates. But I know a lot of my friends were like, they want something different. So we got something different. And the instance, um, I'll see if I can film it for you guys and put it in the video somewhere. Uh, you go in, you're in Hawk Manor. Um, and it's a very random puzzles. You know, there's three of them randomly that you do. It's each time it's different when you go in. And it was actually a lot of fun. But this is where I posted this on Facebook and a couple of other places and posted my opinion about it and got slammed. <laughs> I felt the instance should have least had... I don't know, maybe we could have had maybe some rare items that had a chance of dropping, like maybe some from the old Halloween events, or maybe some new rare items would have been awesome. Um, you know, reasons to go in there every day, like maybe a once a day daily where we get some shiny stuff, like for your house, or for your character or something. But you can literally finish it in like two hours. You can get everything you want from the vendor and be done. And... I'm kind of like the type of person that I kind of like reasons to kind of log on for the Halloween events. Like for World of Warcraft, for example, you guys know I play that MMO. Although I haven't played it lately because I've been feeling so crappy. 14 is the only one I've been really able to play because I can just mindlessly press buttons uh, in some things. And I haven't even done much in 14 to be honest. <laughs> I just really wander around cities because I'm that bait. Um... You know, but like, for example, in WoW, you know, you have the dungeon where you can do every day once a day and you get the loot filled pumpkin and you can get either the mount or the pet. I still have never gotten the damn mount from that thing in all the time I've done it. And every year I have resubbed since I think 2006 or t whenever they introduced the Halloween events. I don't remember when they did it. But ever since I had the Hortman mount been added, I've been trying to go for it and I've never gotten it. And it's annoying. Blizzard, if you're watching this, I want that mount, damn it. <laughs> um, and even in Guild Wars 2 the first year, you know, you had the Mad King Thorn, and you had that, you had the jumping puzzle, you know, you, and you had a lot of things in Guild Wars 2. But even then, it wasn't something you could finish in one day, because you had to get the currency to get all the items, and you had to get the currency to do stuff, and, you know, it wasn't, you could finish in one day. It took a few days. It took almost a week. And then about midway through, they would add other stuff so that you can do. You know, that's what I would like to see the Halloween event being more of. Uh, and other events in 14 in general, I would just, for me, would like to be able to log in every day and do the Halloween stuff before doing my other dailies. You know, that would just be amazing. But some people don't like that because, oh my god, I have to log in every day. Well, for the people who are active in the game, you're already logging in every day on these days anyway. It doesn't take much time to do it. Like, well, I haven't done my dailies in WoW, which I'm going to start doing again tomorrow at some point. Uh, I may save the wow stuff for nighttime now because I'm stuck or might save it for the weekend so I can catch up um because <laughs> I have work tomorrow potentially uh if things go well tomorrow morning at the doctor um hopefully please pray it goes well because I won't go back to work um but the sad part is is that some people don't and this is what my argument is, and I think this is where I was. I'm sorry. I'm actually he I'm actually healing the dungeon as I say this. Uh, so I feel like it would be amazing if we could have, because most of us log in just about every day, anyways. Um, if we could just have an event that actually, you know, you can do something with it every day. I mean, that's just my opinion. That's what I would like. I mean, I'm I can't be the only one that feels this way. It kind of felt. I loved the incense. In fact, let me go ahead and I'll see if I can go to the incense and show you. I liked the instance. I liked doing it. I just wish there was more to do. I really wish there was, you know, the minion was a little bit harder to get. So we had to go in there multiple times and that, you know, there is more stuff. And I just would have really loved that, you know, because WoW and Guild Wars 2 and other MMOs can do the holiday events to where there's stuff going on where you just do it. 
and you don't have to worry about it. But here you have an MMO that's been so successful. I mean, I remember being the first holiday events were amazing. And there was multiple quest lines, there was an action, you know, there was a story behind it. I loved those first Halloween events and stuff. But then it seems like after that, it just progressively, slowly, slowly declined. It became the same thing, it became Fates, it became this, it became that, and a lot of people hate that. So they added the instance, which is amazing. But the problem is now is that, well, let me show you. Where's, okay. So we're going to go to Old Gridania, which is where the event is at. Um, and I'm going to show you guys the stuff you can get after the vampire top. Which, by the way, I'll put on the vampire top and show you. Uh, so, also while we're waiting, um, I am planning on doing a Sunday night horror stream. I just don't know what time or anything because life all hectic and I'm moving this weekend and... Well, hopefully moving this weekend. They supposedly, someone supposedly his boyfriend was told they could move it. Anyhow, that's another thing. Yeah, another stress is I'm finding places that are dropping out. So this is why I can't handle it. And you see there's a lot of people here. So this is where the main Halloween event is. And so if you talk to her, you know, there's the minion, which I have. There's the pumpkin stew, which is for your house. Which I didn't get, damn it. Um, the Magic Prism Pumpkin, which I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. And the two orchestration rolls. Now, the Magic Prism Pumpkins kind of look sort of like this. You're a big pumpkin head. I love these things. With the bats. Oh my god. This is amazing. I like this item. There you go. And so, the top is shh, they have an aura in this ear is this toppy which i'll put it on for you real quick so see you have like a little cape and you have a little thing and it looks so adorable and, but you know i like it but i prefer to like the witch's outfit i really love that which i'm going to buy with my paycheck coming out. so this is the halloween dungeon when after you do all the quests you talk to him so I'll show you guys the dungeon real quick um, and kind of show you guys it's a fun it, it is really fun I, I will give it that it's a lot of fun but I kind of wish you know there was chances to get rare items but I will show you the instance too bad you guys won't see the cutscene because uh, I've already done it because I didn't want filming that blunder <laughs> oh, we almost got kicked out my first one so see, we're in Hawk Manor. And they tell you complete three of the tasks and you shall have a reward. You'll also be told that there's a sanity meter. So anytime you get hit by the moms, the sanity goes down and is shared by the entire party as you just saw there. For those of you that have done it, that haven't done it. For those of you who've done it, why the heck aren't you watching this video anyways? Uh, so we're gonna, so the first one, this is never, I've never had this first one, is the cookie basket. You gotta go find a cookie basket. So there's a cookie basket over here. Some might have more than others. See, look, we got five cookies from that. And then we're just gonna dash quickly across the floor, because I don't want to get hit. So we're gonna go down here. Boing. Now, this is where I've gotten hit before, so I'm just gonna check. Okay. Yeah, so this is... See those moms? You get hit by those moms, the same meter goes down. Uh, which I think someone's about to get hit. Or this guy's just gonna keep following me everywhere. One the two. Yeah, so you can't get hit in the room. But you have to be careful... Oh, I'm going back in. You have to be careful. I don't want to be the first one to get hit. Because I was saying you're still 100. Okay, he just got the one from in here. Okay, cool. So, you can see the circus wops. Oh, shoot. They used the charm. Awesome. And you also have the airmen's who can turn you into things if they see you. So you have to be really careful going through. Now, I really like... And you just saw me dead. That just happened. There we go. See? Look, I just got turned into a sad jack o' lantern. Sad face. 
But hey, the best part is you get stealth for three seconds well, after that happened. But hey, only... Well, wait, actually, someone else got hit too. Pretty much you can get hit multiple times and be okay. Uh, the lowest I've been at was like 20%. Because someone kept picking the wrong jack-o'-lanterns. Which, if that's another one we see, I'll show you that one. So, see, we have 11 out of 15 cookies. And there's one more they need. I'm gonna wait in this room. Because, <laughs> yep, there we go. Da -da -da. Yep, well done, well done. Let's see how you fare us with this next task. So, yeah, there's three. And then you get transported back to the beginning so you don't stay where you are. And it kind of loads screens and changes it. Second one is Jack in the Box. This is the one I was preluding to a little bit earlier. There are two untrapped boxes. What I mean by untrapped means they're not booby trapped. And there are clues somewhere that tells you which ones they are. Or they say you can just guess and hope for the best. It drains your sanity meter to hell. So this cryptic note says, uh, in a room ending with the number two. The first untrapped box hit in a room ending with the number two. Now that could also mean somewhere downstairs. So that's the first clue. It ends with a number two. And I know there are some that ends with number two downstairs. So we're going to go down there and take a look. But you have to be careful, because guess the wrong box. And as you just saw, it depletes quite a bit. We went from 80 to 78. You have to be very careful. And here's a jack-in-the-box with a charm. Oh, bugger. Yay. I should pay attention. I couldn't even see what room number this was, damn it. Okay, so not touching this box, but I will grab the charm. Okay, someone's got one. This is room number five. Oh, oh my god, our sanity meter's gone down real low. Let me type, be careful, meter is running real low. Try and see if anyone found the next clue. Yeah, oh my gosh, it just keeps going down. It's like, just be careful guys. I'm seeing boxes, but I'm not wanting... This is number six. Yeah, this one is... A room ending with four. I just came from that, actually. Oh my god. I actually just came from there. Okay. So that room we were in earlier totally had the right jack-o'-lantern in it. Or so we think. We'll open the pumpkin chest and we'll see. Yep, there it goes. So we could have hit that one the entire time. And then it says there's one more game and our sanity meter 36. Whew. I have been this low. Never been this low any time I've done it, even my first attempt. Oh boy. Okay. Coffer cracker. This one's a fun one. Discover the combination and then slash say numbers while targeting the coffer. Now, they claim it's always in the same room. And I just confirmed it's not. It is not in this room. So now we gotta find the coffer. So yay. Oh, perfect timing. Uh, it's not in there. 
I haven't even seen any of the clues yet. Oh look, cryptic note. Found one of the clues. Alright. So we're gonna read the cryptic note. The third number is six. So one, two, six. Third number is six. Yeah, this is where you have to really work together, which is I really like. Uh, so we already got that cryptic note. Fifth number is two. So we have a few of the numbers, all right. Holy crap. Oh, yep, he just said the fifth number. First is two. So we got, yep. there's one over there. Let's see if anyone's down here. Let's see if anyone's checking the basement. Looks like one person is. So that means I'll just check down here. Gotta be careful with those slimy. Alright, cryptic note. Yes, there's a cryptic note in here. Second number is zero. Cryptic note in here. No. Yeah, this is where it gets a little panicky. Oh, look, a charm. Yep, 206X2. So we need to find that last number, which I was all downstate. I was all on the ground floor. But I'll check around here. Shit! That just... Yep. There's the cryptic note right there. But hey, we finished it at least. That's what's important. But it takes a little bit of doing because you have to maneuver. Oh wow, we're at 18 sanity. So, whoever's at the pumpkin, which I really wish I was swimming the first time because I was at the pumpkin, you have to target it and do slash say and then save the code. So the code is two zero six seven two. Which someone was supposedly there we go. And then it says you have your award. And what it does, it transports you into the this room. And it says here you can have your cookies. But we should not be so gentle on your next visit, which I keep saying that every time. And then you open the cookie chest. And you're done. And you get four cookies each time you do this. And you can also commend people. So it doesn't matter what class or anything you do it on, because you're at level one anyway, so you can't attack. Can't do anything really, except avoid. So I got two player counts for that, and we got four cookies, which 
I think it took me four runs of dungeons to get the music scrolls and to get the pet. I think. It was something like that. It wasn't very many. As you can see, we've already got that. We've already got that. So I'm going to buy some of the pumpkin stew for my room, which I haven't bought yet. So I'll buy a couple of those. And then the rest, I'll buy the more magic prisms. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the Halloween event. Which I kind of hoped they would have added a bit more to it, but I didn't like it. I just kind of wish the dungeon kind of had more to it. Like, you know, hey, you know, you could have done... You know, you could have gotten some rare stuff and random stuff from the minion or the... You know, the minion could have dropped randomly from it so you didn't have to waste your cookies or something like that. Um, but that's just me. You know, I... I like my holiday events and I'm very particular when it comes to my holiday events. People can leave me alone. Anyhow, I'm going to try to do more YouTube videos as time goes on. Uh, I have plans on doing a Warframe video because I think you guys might like seeing ship fail at shooters. I'm also planning on doing some Guild Wars 2 stuff. Um, eventually. <laughs> I just need to have time. And I also plan to do some Final Fantasy stuff with the people I've been hanging out with on the server. If you want to know what server I'm on right now, it's Lamina. And there's going to be a few people once I can release what's going on that I'm going to introduce you to. So, until next time, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy your holiday event in whatever game you play. Whether it's either Rocket League, Guild Wars 2, Final Fantasy, World of Warcraft, or even Overwatch. Which, oh my god, the Overwatch event. Love. But anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys stick around and stay tuned. Bye, guys.